What's good? Welcome to my Indie Spotlight, bringing independent studio games some attention that might have been overlooked. After my short overview and review, I'll include some of my initial gameplay as well. At its core, Starshoot is similar to retro games like Galaga or 1942. Starshoot is an arcade-style top-down space shoot-em-up. While it looks like the typical space shoot-em-up at first glance, it ends up being much more than just that. Currently, there's only an arcade endless mode available, but there is a campaign story mode plan that hasn't been implemented yet. When you first start the game, it takes you through the tutorial, which will quickly show you the base mechanics of the game. The shmup basics of dodge the bad stuff, shoot the bad things, and collect power-ups are still present. What makes Star Shoot different is how you collect these power-ups. These will drop as you kill enemies, but you can't just grab every single one. You can only grab one type of power-up at a time, or it'll reset the progress of the previous power-up you just picked up. To commit the power-up so it stays permanently, you have to charge your overcharge by shooting enemies, and then you use it. Once you overcharge, you will explode, dealing damage around you, but you will have to hurry up and pick up your ship's part. The strategy of when to do this is a large part of Star Shoot. After an overcharge, you are slow and can't shoot until you grab your blasters and are really slow until you grab your thrusters. If you are killed, you still keep your power-ups, but you do lose a life. Each level is procedurally generated, so attack patterns and type of enemy differ with each play, making the game feel fresh each time. There are two bosses which you can encounter which give you a bunch of credits once defeated. These credits can be used in the shop which is accessed outside of the game. You can purchase many power-ups that make your weapons stronger, shields better, more lives, etc. etc. Overall, Star Shoot is a fun space shoot 'em up with a cool take on the genre. After multiple plays, it still felt new and not repetitive. Controls in the game felt good and the pixel art style gave it a retro feel. I enjoyed this game and would recommend picking it up. That's all I have for you today. You can find a link to the game in the description if you're interested in giving it a try. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe for more indie spotlights coming up. If you know of any hidden indie gems you really enjoyed that you think I should play, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time. Mega combo! Nuclear energy ready! Shield down! Shield down! Shield 
Shield down. Shield down. Shield down. 